Divine Truth Assistance Group. Group Assistance Sessions, Putting Principles of Divine Truth into Action. This recording is from the Understanding God's Love and Laws Group and is part of an Education in Love series. In the Enforcing Love and Truth Session 2 presentation, Jesus creates the correct environment for gaining an education in love by removing participants whom he feels are not addressing gender-based emotional issues caused by a lack of sincere desire for love, truth, and self-awareness. Recorded on the 20th of November, 2016, in New Seville, Queensland, Australia. A few things to organise this morning, sorry about that. Just wanted to quickly prepare an outline for the thing we're going to do first up. Uh, which we did this morning, and uh, and then I had to copy it, of course, over the systems and stuff. Thanks for being ready on time. Sorry that I'm two minutes late. <laughs> well, it's the given, is it? You, we'll see whether that's the case. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, now today's program is probably going to go uh, potentially 30 minutes over, um, just because of our, us adding this extra uh, part to the program this morning. And we feel we needed to add this extra part of the program. Who's a bit nervous about this part of the program? A few. <laughs> Quite a few. Um, I don't feel you have to be nervous, but, but it'd be great if you could be self-reflective. Right, so this is what I would love to see, a bit of self-reflection. And the first thing uh, we would like to say is to remind you of the requirements to be here. So remember that many of you answered no, that you could, didn't do those things uh, at the beginning of the group. Now, you've already got a reprieve, right? Haven't you? Because normally we would have considered just removing you straight away. So there's already those people you're off the hook, guys. So you're not going to be removed for not doing that. But in future, anybody who does not do our prerequisites will be removed. Does that make sense? And we just feel that's because it demonstrates a great lack of respect for the time and energy we've put in to organising the material and putting it together. And also a lack of respect for, other, for the costs of all of the costs and everything involved in putting these events together. But let's get to the main point which was, remember, we had to continue to address and solve some serious intergender issues within the group. And we want to enforce love and truth with regard to these particular issues. Now, we're going to have three sessions of this. Remember, the first session was Friday night, enforcing love and truth. We'll have one today. And then in three days' time, on the second day of the second session, we're going to do it again um, as well, if we feel there's any more outstanding issues in particular to address. So we've decided that we want to make sure that by the last two days, the people that are here do at least have a desire to learn more and, 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 and desire to actually begin to practice what they hear as well. So we can see that the ratio of men to women, remember, is the problem that we're trying to address, which is this uh, in this group. Um, Sorry, it's 24%, sorry, in this group, not 22, but it is 22 if you took out the people that doubled up from the last group. So the reality is it's quite, uh, quite low percentage, less than one uh, fourth and almost one fifth. Uh, and it never used to be that way. Years ago, it used to be quite even in the groups. So we'd just like to say, firstly, before, beforehand, that we have no personal animosity towards those who we remove. So it's not about us being angry with you or upset with you. It's just that we feel that you're either in complete denial of your issues and that you have been for many years. And in fact, we're not going to remove anybody who has the, even the ones who have these issues who have only been listening for three years or less. So all of those people who are just new or just been listening for a short period of time, those people we feel need to be given a greater opportunity to address some of these issues even though they have these issues. Does that make sense? But if you've been with our groups for many years, and many of you have been with the groups for many years and still not addressing some primary issues, then of course um, you probably still need to worry, don't you? Because <laughs> you might be removed in this group. The reality is we will be removing some people from this group. So, so we're going to tell you why and, and help you through the process of why as well. 
Okay, so let's look at the issues. Remember the first uh, group of women that we raised? We've reappraised the numbers. There's 10 people in this audience at the moment who are in this condition who emasculate men emotionally and sexually, who gain power over, control and bully other women, and who have an arrogant illusion about their own goodness. <laughs> in other words, they think they're pretty good while they're doing it. Um, these women are heavily influenced by large numbers of spirit women who have a deep degree of arrogance about women's condition and have a deep degree of desire to actually put women in a superior position over men. Now, I must first say with regarding these issues, if men had this problem in the group, and I'm sure in the future we're going to have groups where men are the dominant numbers in the groups and men are the ones who are trying to dominate women, then we're going to treat them exactly the same way, of course. Does that make sense? So don't think that this is a man or woman issue. This is just sp particularly what we're trying to address at this stage to even up the groups. And if it turns out that men become dominant in the groups for whatever reason, usually it will be, again, issues that men will have towards women that keep the women away. And under those circumstances, we would also address the issues. Does that make sense? So don't believe that we're doing this because I'm a man or, or any of those kind of reasons. Many of you women do believe what I say to you is because I'm a man and uh, unfortunately that's to your own detriment, to be frank. Okay, who believes they are a part of this group? Let me check. Okay, who have we got? We've got Angela saying she is and Angela, you are. Kathy, you're saying you are and Kathy, you are. Um, Laura, you're saying you are but you're actually not. Monique, you're saying you are, but you're in a different group. Sandra, you're saying you are, and you actually are. Karen, you're saying you are, and you're not. Claudia, you're saying you are, and you're not. Okay, Nina, you're saying you are, and you definitely are. Right. Um, next to you is Olga, is that right? Yes, you're saying you are, but you're actually in the next group, Olga. Yeah. Rani, you're saying you are, and I've got no idea why you're saying you are. Um, who have we got? Anna, you're saying you are, and you're in the next group. Okay. Sherry, you're saying you are, and you are. Yep. Um, Renee, you're saying you are, and you're in a group with a few others, all of your own. Right. Um, who have we got there? Cecily, you're saying you are, and you're not. Denise, you're saying you are and you're not. You're in the next group. Rebecca, you're saying you are and you are. Rebecca, uh, sorry, Barbara, you're saying you are and you're in the next group instead. Laureen, you're saying you are, and to be honest with you, you're way out of line in self-analysis there. You're definitely not. Okay. Those who didn't have their hand up, Dawn, you are in this group. Eloisa, Mala. You are in this group. You don't believe you are, but you are. Helga, who are you? You are in this group. Jennifer Brownson. Didn't have your hand up, but you are in this group. And who's missing? That's it. Now, all of those people who didn't put their hand up for this group, but I, who I've just told who are, can you just put your hands up again? So those four... Um, you are going to be removed. Right. In addition to that, Nina, I need to remove you as well. And I'm going to let a few off the hook for the fact that they have not been associated with Divine Truth for very long. So of that group, there's yourself, Rebecca, who haven't known Divine Truth for very long, and Kathy, you haven't known Divine Truth for very long, so you'll be staying. But that's the only reason why. Do you understand? Okay, now have I missed anybody? Oh, Eva, you haven't had your hand up, but you are. Oh. Yes, oh, yes. Yep. Now, my, I have some trouble with this self this denial that you girls have when you say you're not, when you actually are, and this demonstrates the huge lack of self uh, uh, lack of self awareness that you have. The other problem is that that you are carrying around with you large groups of spirits who make you believe that you're far better in far better condition and shape than you are. Now, if I can give you some examples of that, 
each of you in this group have a large group of spirits, spe specifically spirits around you, who want to use you and groom you for this role of taking power over other people, both men and women. All right? Now, if you examine your past lives, I don't mean your past lives in terms of previous lives, of course, I mean your, your, your past in this life, you will see that many of you have engaged in dominating behaviour over men. And in fact, for yourself, Eva, and for yourself, Helga, you've been involved in the systematic destruction of your own husbands, as have, have you, Dawn, been involved in the systematic destruction of your own husbands. And that demonstrates... So you've got a man now that you, com that you completely can dominate, he'll do whatever you want, and you're, you think you're quite happy, but the reality is you're only happy because he does not challenge you. He does not push your buttons much. He tries to do what you want. So this is a big problem. So, um, the ones who I have not indicated, but the reality is I'm, I'm, I am very tempted to remove every single person I've mentioned, aside from the two that have not been associated with divine truth for very long. Now, the only redeeming features for those people who are those people who had their hand up realising they are in the group. So who were they again? You had your hand up realising you're in the group. So that was Sherry, Ange and, and Sandra. And wasn't it Nina too? Didn't you have your hand up? Yeah, recognising you're in the group. So, so the reality is there were four of you recognising the issue. And I do feel, Sandra and Sherry, you have started to make some inroads on this, on this particular problem. Right? So to me, that means you're starting to at least use your will in a different direction and starting to develop a desire to address these things, which means that, like, from, from my perspective, all we're looking for here really is a desire to address the issue. Now, I feel for yourself, Angela, I feel you're on the fence about this still. Um, and so I've been vacillating back and forth, shall I remove you or not? Does that make sense with regard to this? Um, but. And the only reason why I, I, I wouldn't is because I do feel that there's a beginning of some awareness, but, but there's still a lot of quite damaging behaviour that you're engaging, and you're quite proud of your daughter also being in this same condition. And so, uh, you know, there's some serious issues here. Ladies, the ladies in this group, you do not realise how damaging this behaviour is. When you pass into the spirit world, you're going to be in these groups of women who oppress the earth. You're going to be in them unless you do something now about the issue. And I've seen many of you, how, how long have I known some of you? Ten years. And you've had that issue all the way along. And some of you have had conversations with you about it, regular conversations. Either that's the case, Helga, that's the case for you. I've even raised it with you. With Angela, I've raised it. With Sandra, I've raised it. With, with you, Dawn, I've raised it. With Sherry, I've raised it. So there's, and, and also, Jennifer, with you. And every time I raise it with you, you go, oh, really? You know, it's like, surprise. And I'm going, no, hang on a sec here. Every time you're saying, oh, really, it really just means that you don't believe a word I'm saying, and that's okay, you don't have to, but, but it's to your own detriment, because at the end of the day, you're going to be destroying your own life, right? As well as the lives of others. So, my decision at this stage is dawn. After this presentation is complete, I would like you to go. I'd like you to stay for the rest of the presentation. However, if you're booked in here, which I think you are. Is that right? Booked in? No? You're not booked in here? Who's booked in here of those ladies? Oh, quite, quite a few. My recommendation to you is to stay at the venue and spend the rest of this time examining why you've not had a desire to see or to do anything about this issue for such a long time. That's... And, and you've got to recognise that you're carrying with you these large groups of spirits who come specifically to oppress men in the group. That's, the, that's what they want you to come for, to, to just oppress other guys, men in particular, in the group. And in some cases, both men and women. They, they, they see you in... They want to set you up in competition with women and oppress the women as well. And, and this makes the groups very unsafe to feel emotion 
for other people who are willing to feel their emotion, it makes it very unsafe for them. And you've got to start seeing that not only is this your own desire, but also now you've, you've encouraged a whole group of spirits with you. Now, many of, many of these, these things have come from some very strong injuries in your childhood where your fathers in particular treated you as if you're the best girl and you're the favourite girl and all those kind of things. Or there's the flip side of that where you were treated very violently as a child by a man and, and now you're just in this terrible rage about it. Does that make sense? Usually it's one of those two issues, and for each of you, it is one of those two issues. So, Nina, Jennifer, Helga, Eva, I'm still vacillating about you two, so I'll, I'll leave you in for a little while. We might have to deal with it again in a few days. We'll see what happens. But Eloisa, Dawn, right? And Angela. I think, I think you're going to have to go, Angela, to be honest. In addition, what's part of my consideration is, is your very poor treatment of Mary as a presenter in the previous assistance groups, which you have no clue, you're completely clueless about. And in fact, I'll, if, Mary chose to not address it, but the reality is, if it was me, you wouldn't have even been allowed to come to this group. Right? So I feel that's an issue that you need to address as well. So I feel you need to be removed. Okay, so again, I invite you to stay. Understand that each of you in this group are being groomed to continue to do this and you are going to have a lot of difficulty stopping it because the spirits with you are very insistent and you have some very strong superiority emotions that cause you to believe that you do not have these issues in most cases. Does that make sense? So this is a very serious issue that's affecting our group and we'd really like to see you address it. Now, we love you. We're, this is why we've spent time with each, many of you, with, in, it, with you individually, trying to help you see these issues and address them. But the fact is, many of you are like, like it's just water off a duck's back, to, you know, as the saying goes. You, you, you're like Teflon. It, it all just slides off you, anything that gets said. And it's time that you start seeing that we're not going to keep putting up with this, you, you allowing it all to just slide off you, but bringing these posses of women and yourselves with, along with these women along to the group who then oppress the rest of the group. You follow me? We feel that it's very important that you address these issues. Now, some of you are going to get very angry with me as a result of this. You are. Now, my suggestion is let yourself feel your anger, but don't go down the track of just getting overcloaked by it because that's going to make your condition even worse. But you need to let yourself feel some anger at least because what's going to happen is this for you. You've got, you've got a very high level of your own, of your own superiority, over, oh, particularly over men but also over other women. New age concepts in, for many of you have caused you to maintain this high level of personal superiority that you have. Your view of men is that men are here, down lower, a lot lower. You don't see them as equal to you. The spirits around you don't see them as equal to you. Now, for you to come down to a state of equality is going to feel like you're having things taken away from you. Does that make sense to you? It's going to feel like somebody is like stealing your worth from you when the reality is all we're trying to do here is help you to see that you're not actually treating people equally to yourself. Do you follow? So for you, it's going to be very, a very difficult process of deconstructing these superiority belief systems that you have inside of yourself and actually starting to come to see your true condition, what's really driving your true condition. There is a deep desire in each of you to dominate men. A deep desire to dominate men. All right. And it's something that needs to be addressed. Now, can you see that people who fear you are going to have to improve in their self-worth or improve it, that, uh, start believing that they are equal to you? Now, while you're oppressing them, that's a very hard thing to do. Uh, very hard thing to do. So, so this is a, a severe issue. 
Now, and we feel strongly that your time, rather, you've got the opportunity to still listen to these presentations, right, you ladies? Even if you go, you've got the opportunity to listen to these presentations like privately by yourself. And that means that the spirits uh, hordes that are with you have got no one to attack while you're doing it, which is actually probably a safer environment in a lot of ways for, for the, any person around you. And it also then means that you, you have the, still have the ability to see all the material, to work through all the material, just, just the same as anybody else. And so we're not you know, precluding you from any of those things. We're just saying to you, while you have this problem, and while you do not have a strong desire to either see it or deal with it, we just feel like we can't have you at the events because of what's happening spiritually and emotionally to the people around you as a result of you being at the event. Does that make sense to you? Yep. Okay, so that's our first group. Is there any questions you would like to ask me before I move on? Because I'm happy to try to help you with some things. Jennifer, thank you. A user mic. Um, should I just go now? No, I've said no. quite clearly already. I want you to stay until the end of this presentation. Okay. Yep. Until the just the, the end of this presentation being the enforcing love and truth presentation. So once we have a break, that's the time to go. Okay. Yep. I've said that two times already though. So you can't even hear what I'm saying. Thanks, Dawn. And then we'll come down to Rebecca. Can you be part of two groups? Um, for yourself, Dawn, no, you're not. Thank you. But you could be, yes. Okay, I'm confused I'm not, now. I'm saying that anybody in the room could be a part of two groups that I'm mentioning, but mm -hmm. in your case, your, your specific issue is this issue. Thank in you. fact, this is the most serious issue you face in your whole life, to be frank. It's the thing that's causing you the most degradation in your whole life with, when it comes to love. So the main part for myself is the bullying of men and my superiority of my goodness. Yes, big issues for you. And you've got spirits around you grooming you to remain in this condition. And you've got obviously some codependent addictions with them, otherwise they wouldn't be with you. So you need to look at that. And, and you'll feel their oppression when you start to address this particular issue. Okay. You'll feel them trying to always trigger you, trying to make you angry with men, trying to make you oppress men even when you don't want to. But at this stage, what I'm saying to you is you have de no desire to stop it because you don't even, you're not even aware you're doing it. How long has this been with me, these spirits? Ever since I've known you. So it's probably been longer than that, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I, what's happened with you actually is, and there's been a number of the, the ladies who are in the same boat, is from a very young age you were taught that you were superior and as a result of that yeah, you've had spirits around you grooming you to do this for the rest of your life. And to almost become a spiritual leader encouraging other people to do the same thing with women in particular and this is what's happened for you. Does that make sense? Yes, yep. thank you. Yep. Um, if we come down to Rebecca. Thanks, Rebecca. If you were in our position, what's the first thing you would look at? The feeling anger or...? Well, honestly, there's a number of things I would look at. Because firstly, you need to see the sin of it. You, you are all going to have very strong tendencies towards anger when something's pointed out to you. And, and you, you all do have very strong tendencies towards anger when anything is pointed out. Now, some of you go into a sulky anger and some of you go into an overt one, right? And if you think about what you do with your partners in particular, you usually do one or the other. But uh, my suggestion is that in, in the causal emotional issues are that you've been treated as superior for a lot of your life and now you have a deep belief that you are superior to a man in particular. So your level of oppression over Nikki, for example, is very high at this stage and, and you need to address it. It, it. Even if you don't finish up having a relationship you know, forever with Nikki, you still need to address it because at the end of the day it's something that's out of harmony with love and truth. So my suggestion would be to look at how you've been treated by men in your childhood, particularly with regard to developing issues of superiority, but also look at how your mother wanted you to be in your childhood as well. It, and your mother's attitudes towards men 
because uh, usually you get validation from your mothers as well f to have the same the same sort of belief systems and also this deep need you have to feel better than other women you know the, examine that as well because that's a part of this as well as this sort of illusion of thinking that you're good when actually there's a lot of quite bad things that are going on around you now if you're married or or um, in a relationship my suggestion would be to be much more honest with your husband about the fact that you've been oppressing him for <laughs> most of his life and and you can enlist his help of course to actually address the issue but unfortunately most of the men that you've been involved with have all wanted the oppression to a degree or are willing to accede to the oppression now many of you ladies almost have this viewpoint well if that's what they're going to do then I'm okay with that so you need to address that as well like why are you okay with a man treating himself lesser than you just so that you can feel superior or just so that you can feel in control so for many of you it's control issues rage anger superiority they are the kind of issues you need to have a good look at Does make sense and the stuff over women would that be from mum's stuff well the stuff over women again can be because mum treated you as a superior girl you know you're you're because you're her girl you're better than every other girl or it could be setting up in a competition to women because mum was jealous of you and usually for many of you 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 know that your mum was jealous of you with your relationships with your dad your mum was jealous so you know that's so it can be one or the other it just depends on how that formulated as a child so that's that's the way that's the thing to look at thank you yeah yeah okay now my suggestion too is that you if you go back to reflect back to 2014 we had these quite strong talks with the women groups about this issue so you can go back over that material there's plenty of material that we've discussed on this issue and the main reason why we feel no this is time now to stop is is because we've already said so much about it and it's just getting it's not getting resolved and, and it's time for you ladies to have a bit more self-reflection and start resolving these issues and and honestly also it's time for you to, to many of you don't even have really your own lives yet because you're getting controlled or manipulated through codependent addiction by a group of spirits who just want you to repress men and and because you want to you go ahead and do it anyway um, but you don't realize that your lives would be a lot better without these groups of women around you by the way the lives of anybody who's around you would be better too because they won't get oppressed by those groups of women anymore does that make sense okay well we need to move on because there's a lot to cover so you're okay with that you've <laughs> i know it's a hard, hard it feels hard for you but this is where we need to go to address these issues okay the other thing i've noticed with many of you you desire to deny obfuscate and maneuver around truth so whenever we present a truth to you there's a there's usually tears or there's some other thing that comes up you, there's ways that you've learnt to maneuver out of it to get yourself away from it to to not believe what's being said to you and this is a you know not a not a very attractive quality either because it's actually in complete denial of the truth principle and and something you need to address okay let's look at the second group uh, 11 women are in this group rage with men strong agreement with the desire to destroy or dominate men supportive of women who have the intention to destroy or dominate men that and some degree of in, but but you have some degree of intention to deal with the problem who, who reckons they're in that group okay let's have a look so phoebe um you're in this group and another group so you're in two groups yep so laura no again what's the self-analysis going on there now i'm not for many of the ones i've covered in the first group i'm i'm not going to include you in this group does that make sense so olga yes you're in this group and claudia no i don't feel you're in this group you have some rage with men but it's not katrina you're in this group no i don't feel you're in this group marie yes i do feel you're in this group marie um Elvira, you reckon you're in this group? I think you were in this group, and certainly, but you've done a lot of work on yourself in this regard. Rani, again, poor self analysis there, my girl. Um, who have we got at the back? Renee. Um, no, you're in another group, Renee, I feel. 
And we've got Megan. Megan, uh, I don't feel you're in that group, Megan. Claudia. Uh, sorry. What's your name again? I can't see it. Laura. Laura, that's right, Laura. Sorry, Laura. Laura. No, I haven't got you in this group. Um, you do have some anger with men, right? You know you do. I don't feel that you want to destroy and destroy them, though. Um, you just have uh, a lot of anger with them. Um, Cecily, no, I haven't got you in this group. Karen, I haven't got you in this group. Lani, I haven't got you in this group. Denise, I've got you in this group. Laureline, I haven't got you in this group. Barbara, I have got you in this group. Wow, there's a lot that are not saying they're in this group. Ther Therese? Um, no, I haven't got you in this group. You have some anger with me, but not in this group. Anna? Anna? Uh, yes, I have got you in this group. Yep. And Pamela? Is that? Yep. Um, I haven't got you in this group. So there must be a fair few missing out of this group. This is what I've got. Who I've got in the group? Olga? Yep. Anna? Barbara? Denise? Now you've had some of you. Had. Joyce? Where are you? Yeah, you don't believe you're in this group. So that's, that's interesting. Kerry, you don't believe you're in this group. Paige, you don't believe you're in this group. Yeah. Sandra, got you, got you in this group. Yep. Luli, you don't believe you're in this group. You don't believe you are. You didn't put it up your hand, so... And Megan, did I have you? Where is Megan? Oh, there you are. Megan, oh, did I just say you weren't in this group? Sorry, you, I have got you in this group. Yep. Okay, there's 11 all up in the group. Now, there's one I need to remove from, a, from this group. I'm not going to remove all of you because I feel that for the majority of you, you do have at least there's some intention, to degree, degree of intention to deal with the problem. But Olga, I need to focus in on you with this particular group. Um, you, are, you aspire to be like these other women. You have an aspiration to, to be the same as the first group. So your actual desire at this stage is worsening your condition quite rapidly to be the same as a person in the first group. So I, I feel you need to have a good look at that. The rest of the people at least don't have the aspiration to be like the first group. But I can see in you and I see in these interactions that you have with the, with the, the women involved in the first group, you're always trying to be like them. And, and so this means that you really aspire to be like them. So that's an issue for me and I, I do feel that I need to remove you from this group as a result. Does that make sense? Yep. You have a group of spirits who are grooming you to be like them as well. Which is, which is not very good. Okay, let's move. Any questions about from that group? Sandra, you would like to ask. So, I put my hand up originally because obviously I'm supporting the women's spirits in this, so it's part of it, but also um, how do we, like I guess in our interactions, do we notice like when we, other women are belittling men, for example. Well, you were to, in the first group. Yes, exactly. So, so it's so automatic, right? The only reason well. why I'm not removing you is because you've actually done some work trying to address the fact yeah. that you're in the first group. And, and, and now I still feel you're in this group where you still have this strong agreement yeah. and desire to destroy, but you have some degree of intention to deal with the problem. So, so you're not heading on the downward path anymore. You, you've at least stopped yourself from heading on this downward path. Now, to me, that's a positive desire. Does that make sense? So, and, and you're not clueless about the issue. You don't maintain a fiction or illusion of yourself being good about the issue. So I feel in your case, uh, yeah, that's the reasons why I've placed you in this group, even though I know in the past in particular you've been, had a terrible emotions towards men and really wanted to systematically destroy them, right? Yeah. yeah. So I do feel you've made some progress on the issue. And in fact, many of the ladies in this group that I've mentioned aside from some of the newer ones, have made some progress on this issue, but still need to make a lot more and spend a lot more time dealing with it. Now, many of you are not in relationships, right? And one of the reasons why is because you really don't want to deal with it. And I would, su I would suggest to you that if you really wanted to deal with it, 
you would find a man at least that challenges you to deal with it. But the trouble is at the moment, you're not too attracted to those kind of men because you just think they're you know, arrogant and so forth and they're just going to challenge your life and you don't like the whole concept, right? And what I'm suggesting to you is to enter into either, uh, preferably a friendship with a, somebody who's going to actually challenge you you yeah, know, sounds to like a good idea. begin addressing yeah. these issues. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go to the next group of women. Three women in this who want power and dominance over other women who use addictions with men and women to control, to gain control over other women. And that's the two things. Who do you, who do you, who do you think is there? So, now, Renee, you're right now. <laughs> okay. And Monique, you are right, yes. And... The third woman I had in this list hasn't got a hand up. That's you, Phoebe. All right. Okay, now, Renee, I want to address you because I feel Phoebe and Monique both have exercised a desire to begin addressing these issues, but you have not. You are in total cluelessness about it. You have no desire to address it. You carry around a group of spirits who actually want you to continue doing it. And when I notice you in interactions with men and women around, it's, you're constantly exercising just this clueless place that you're in, going ahead and doing it. Does that make sense? And, and my sister, you're not. If, if, you have this, if you keep having the desire you have, you're not going to stop. You're just going to get worse. Right? Whereas your sister is exercising a desire to stop, and Phoebe is starting to exercise a desire to stop, but, but I don't see you exercising a desire to stop. And this is why I feel I must remove you from the group. Does that make sense? Yep. Do you have any questions about it, any of you three girls? Meg, if we can start with you and then go to Renee. Um, just, um, just to clarify, um, power and dominance over other women, um, just on how to address it or where, where to go from. Well, I've talked to you many yeah. times before about Sorry. it. I don't think I need to in this Sorry. group. I don't have a clear question. I just want to ask yeah. something. Sorry. Yeah, I just feel Keep you going. do need to spend a lot more time feeling about why you want it. Yeah. Yeah, it's an issue of competition and jealousy with mother yeah. set up probably by your father, right? Yeah. For both of you girls, it's the same underlying reason why it's happening. But uh, but you're not you're not addressing it really no, no. You're and you're right. using you're using often you're using a man who you feel is in a position of dominance over other women, and you get connect with him. This is this is Alex. You connect with him, and then he he helps you exercise this dominance over other women. It makes you feel better than other women, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you know that's an issue. Yeah. For for your sister, she connects with either men or women who do that for her. So she sexually connects with men or women who allow her to feel... So for yourself, Monique, you, that's what you're doing. You allow... Uh, sorry, Renee. You're allowing men or women to... You get, you get together with a man or a woman who you feel is a bit more powerful. Does that make sense? And then you use them to feel good about yourself in relationship to other women. So again, same issue. Obviously, your sister's brought up in the same family, so you know, you're going to have quite similar issues, so you can help one another there to be to work through the issue. Yeah? Okay, I need to move on, so that's all right. Now, the group, woman group four, you're a very interesting group, right? 17 people, I feel now, is in, uh, are in this group. Yeah. Obviously, it's almost everyone else, isn't it? Now, I'll say it's everyone else except for these people, Eloisa Litton Hitchens, Elvira Gregorich, um, Karen Henry, Kate Eckersall, Lani, Rani, Cecilia, Courtney, and Therese. So, except for you. And, and the reason why I'm saying except for you is only really one reason, and that is you are exercising, those people I've just read out, are exercising in their lives a strong desire to address issues. So, it's not that you don't have this issue. It's that you're not staying in a state of cluelessness about the issue and you're attempting to begin addressing it in your lives. Does that make sense? So you still have the issue, but you're attempting to address it in your lives. Whereas what I feel, um, Elisa, Patricia Sanders, uh, Alice, Alwyn, Catherine, 
Might be a surprise to you, Catherine. You are addressing it, but there's still more work to do. We've had plenty of personal interactions where you have supported an angry woman rather than supporting truth, so you know that. Um, Cecily Tonkin, Claudia, Jane, Joanne, Karen Pronk, Katrina, Laura, Laureen, Pamela, Rachel, Skye, Tanya, each of you have this issue. But, but I want to talk specifically with you, Cecily. So can we have the mic with Cecily in your stand? Yeah. Thank you. You have a very deep desire to project huge amounts of intense demands at me rather than resolve this issue. And to, fr to be frank with you, these intense demands are very oppressive. And I notice you also doing it with other men, but you do it with me in particular, but also even with Mary you do it at times. So it's men and a women thing. You just in project intensely that someone else has got to solve these fear-based issues for you. And as a result of that, you are actually surrounded by large groups of terrified women who influence your choices and decisions. And these women come to the group. And then we have the women from the first group actually hurting the women that are with you through these emotions. So there's this big dynamic going on spiritually where the women from the first group, the spirits with them, are actually using the opportunity, since you're sitting in the audience, to attack the women in your group. And, and the women in your group justify their fear, just like you do, and the women in the other group justify their oppression. Right? Now, you're actually enabling, and, you're, and you, you've done it for years, and we've tried to talk to you about it privately many times, and you still ignore what's being said to you about this issue. There's a deep, intense desire in you to not feel fear, but also to place the responsibility of that onto other people. And, and I've got to remove you from this group because of it. Does that make sense? Now, for all the others in that list, I feel you have varying degrees of wanting to address the issue. But, but in your case, Cess, it's time for you to see this intense demand you're projecting at other people in order to avoid the issue, which is actually worsening your condition. Whereas what I notice for most of the others is their condition, although it's very slow, they are very slowly improving. Now, ladies, I just want to say to you one other thing, and that is on this issue. Most of you who have this level of fear justify it intensely, and your anger is actually the justification of the retain, retaining of this fear. So most of what you, call, you see as your anger is actually because you're so intensely justifying retaining the fear. You believe in your fear being right. And this is a big problem that you have, because what you're actually doing is supporting the dominance of darker people through, through that process. Now, in last group, we had a section called governance, and we'll have a section called governance in this issue, governance principles. My suggestion to you is examine that talk very closely, because you are actually doing what, and what the majority of people on this earth do, and that is feeding power to, you're giving power to people who are in dark condition. That's what you're doing. And, it's, and you've got to stop at some point, because you'll keep doing this after you die too, if you're not careful. You'll just be feeding the power of more abusive people, making them even more abusive. No, it's, not good. it's not a good thing at all. So I, I'm saying to you ladies of the whole, in that whole group, time for you to start really confronting your fear, really confronting it. You follow? Stop, stop justifying the lack of confrontation of your fear. Start doing it. Really do it. Your life's not going to change much even after you pass unless you do it. Right? So it's time for you to do it. Now, in your case, Cess, you are, because of the deep demand you have for someone else, in particular, you're constantly projecting at me throughout a group. The deep demand that you have, particularly at me, to, to make your fear go away, I have to remove you from the group. It's time for you to, to turn that demand off and start actually feeling your fear instead. Do you follow me? Now, you're going to find that quite hard because you're surrounded by a group of women spirits who believe that feeling their fear is the very worst thing that they could do. 
So, so you, uh, my suggestion is go back over all the material we've had about fear. Every single one of it. And let yourself sit with your fear and start to be softened to it and eventually just let yourself feel it. I feel then you'll be ready to come back because you'll have gotten rid of this group of spirits or hopefully what might have happened is those group of spirits will do it along with you and you can still bring them to the talks but they'll be not in a state where they're in this terrified place projecting at everyone around and make my fear go away, make my fear go away. And it's this intense demand that I've got to address with you. Now, all the other women that are in, afraid in the group, of which, of which you can see there's a lot, they don't have this intense personal projection right, that you have. So I feel it's time for you to address it, my sister. Okay? Yep. So I'm completely deluding myself that I've dealt with any fear at all? Yep. Uh, I feel so, yes. In fact, you project this huge demand that other people assist you. And, and every time we see you, it's the same level of demand. It's not, not lessened at all. We'll know when you've started to deal with it for yourself because the projection coming out of you at others to help you will be a lot less. That makes sense? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. All right, now we need to get on to our men. Of course, there's less of them, so I can spend some less time perhaps, but there is actually, I think, I think I've said four groups now. First group, men who want to criticise, compete, put down Jesus, who have continual demands that G at Jesus that he becomes what they want him to be. Who, who are you? Yeah, you're dead right, guys. Alex and Paul. Yeah. So, because... You were dead right, and Lise got some point, some point of re reflection there. Whoa! You get to stay, because if you didn't have your hand up, you both would have gone. All right, next group of men who want sexual power and control over women and who give sexual power to women who want power over other women and have arrogant illusions of their own goodness. How many have I said in there? Three, have I? Yes. Who do you reckon you are? Wow, there's quite a few of you who think you are, right? Now, by the way, I haven't included you, Igor, because you're a part of our team, but you're right. Um, yeah, interesting. Uh, I feel primarily Alex. Um, who else did I have? Peter. Sorry, there should be four men on this list. Peter. Yes, you're right, David, Rosemond. And Adria. The others of you that had your hand up belong to the next group. All right. Now, my concern here with you guys is, fortunately, everyone on the list had their hand up again. What does that tell me? That there's some level of self-reflection in the group, or in these group of men. Now, oftentimes all we're looking for is some level of self-reflection here. Right? So, so this is a good thing. However, these emotions are pretty dark. Are they not? They're pretty dark emotions. So, man, uh, you guys, we're going to have to look at this issue in the future continuously because if you get into this state of complacence about addressing this issue, you guys make it very unsafe for women to be here. Now, obviously, a lot of the women think they can deal with it, otherwise they wouldn't be here. But, uh, but you do make it pretty hard for them. Yep. Alex, you'd like to say, ask? Can I ask you what sexual power is, like in this context? Yes, it's a, uh, you desire to have women do what you want them to do sexually. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 And sorry, what's the second one? I'm confused about that one. You give sexual power to women who want dominance over other women. So in other words, Monique, a woman who desires dominance over other women, you give sexual power to her so that she then feels strong enough to dominate the other women and makes them... So, so you, set, you, set up a, you set up a system where you make some women feel better than other women by who you give the sexual power to. Do you follow me? So you give the sexual power to Monique so that she then feels powerful enough to dominate and she feels better than other women around you, right? Because then I feel like she's more my equal. Well, we're still not really treating her as an equal, but, but 
she then feels more of your equal and therefore, and because she admires that state, she then feels that she can have power or strength over other women. Does that make sense to you? Yeah? Now, Adrian, you, I wanted to ask? Uh, yeah, for myself, uh, I'm aware of that, but I don't see the sin of it yet. So what would be... I agree. I agree you don't see the sin of it yet. To be frank with you, you're new. You're new to divine truth, so of course you're not going to see some things yet. But what my suggestion is to examine, like, a lot of times the attitude you have is, well, a lot of women want this, so I'm just giving them what they want. But you're not considering the ethics and morality of giving a person a, uh, giving a person something that is out of harmony with God's principles. So what I feel you guys need to do is to look at these principles we're, we're talking about this week in particular, examine these principles in terms of equality in particular with regard to ethics, and then ask yourself, do I want to continue treating women unethically and immorally or am I going to develop some morals so that I'm focused on finding that one woman that's out there somewhere that I can have this sexual interaction with, rather than lots and lots of women, right? And sometimes lots and lots of women more than at, at the same time, you know? So this is a big issue for you guys. It's, it's something that is a big sexual issue that needs to be addressed if you ever want to be in harmony with some of God, well, all of God's principles, actually. But it's a good question. Yeah. Do I also have a, like a group of spirits influencing me? Of course, all of you do. Yes, all of you have a large posse of male spirits who just believe that they, their role in life is to go around and get more sexual, have more sexual interactions with uh, with women, even though they've passed. Yes, so every person, every male in this position has usually these groups of spirits. Thank Makes you. sense. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, Yep, good questions. If I can go on to the next. Men group, men's group three, five, have quite extreme emotional demands that women meet their needs sexually and emotionally, who are open to intensive women's spirit control as a result of the demand. Who do you, do you reckon, who reckons in there? So, Rui, yes, for sure you are. Paul, yes, you are. Uh, Max, you are. Interesting, you haven't got your hand up there, but you had your hand up previously. Um, Alex, you are, and Adria, you are. The other men, oh, of course, you are, David, yes. Um, so there's actually six men, but, but uh, Wayne had his hand up. No, I don't feel you are. You, you're more about the sexual bar to, because you're afraid of them. <laughs> Does that make sense? So there's a difference between this one and the next one which is a deep fear of, of women uh, and the desire to sexually barter in order to get their approval. Does that make sense? And you'll tolerate, you kind of guys will tolerate large times where you don't have sex in a relationship. You tolerate years not having sex even in a relationship, right? If the woman doesn't want to give you sex, that's it. You're still going to be there with her all the whole time. You'll tolerate that for years and years and years. Right. Whereas the men in this group won't tolerate that. They don't get the sex, they start getting angry. <laughs> Does that make sense? So, yeah. Adrian? Is it possible that my mum who passed away is influencing me in that sense? Or? Um, well, your mum is influencing you, but not because she's passed away. In, in your childhood, you were sort of brought up to be sort of mummy's favourite type of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so this causes, and, and David Raisman has had the same thing, and his mum's passed away too, and, and this causes you to sort of believe that you're superior to, to w not necessarily, it's like you're still really connected with your mothers, and, and you feel justified in treating women as badly as you can treat them, as long as your mother still thinks you're okay. But if your mother no longer thought you're okay, you'd probably look at the problem. But the reality is, is your mother still thinks you're okay. You're just a naughty boy, on you know. Who you'll fix up over time is the attitude they have, type of thing, you know. And they have a large degree of tolerance to your immoral behaviour and your bad treatment of women. So, so, so because they have this large degree of tolerance, you go, well, Mum's not upset with me, so I must be all right still. Does that make sense? So in that way, she's influencing your self-analysis on the issue. From God's perspective, it's not good. 
from your mum's perspective, you're just being her lovely little boy, you know, being a bit playful. And, and women should look up to you because, after all, you are her boy, <laughs> you know, and that's the kind of attitude your mother actually has. And David Raisman's mother has had a similar attitude too. Yeah. Thank you. Makes sense. And um, Peter, you would like to ask? Can you actually be in all three groups? Like yeah, you so can. Yes, yeah. this group and then the following Actually, group. I forget to ne neglected to mention, but you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. The difference is that you are self-reflective. Like, this is the thing about a lot of you guys. You're already getting on the path of self-reflection about these issues, and this is why you're not getting removed, right? And, in fact, it's the only reason why yeah. you're not getting removed, to be honest. And aside from the people who have been new, like, like Adrian, you know, he's only new to Divine Truth. But, but many of the others of you, you've been connected with Divine Truth for a while, but at least you're now being self-reflective about these issues and you're trying to address these issues. And if you are in a relationship with somebody, that person is trying to help you through, through that issue. So, you know, in the, and that's really great for you that that's happening, right? But if it wasn't happening, all five, or if all of you would have been removed. <laughs> Does that make sense? Then we would end up with uh, hardly any men, of course, mm -hmm. in the group. Okay, group men number four. Men who pander to abusive women in order to receive sex, sexual attention and validation. Men who are afraid to correct women who are attempting to gain power over them. Who do you reckon? All right, who's... Now, um, here we go. This is what I've got. Fab, so the people who, who I list out, keep your hands up, thanks. Fab, Hunter, Lewis, I've got you in this group, yep. And Max, got you in this group. Neil, got you in the group, yep. Good, see, good self-reflection. Nikki, got you in the group. Nicholas, where are you? Oh, right up the back there, yes, got you in the group. Paul, Paul got you in this group too. Pierre, got you in the group, hand up, yep. Richard, got you in the group, hand up, awesome. Rui, got you in the group, hand up. Wayne Shaw, got you in the group. Peter H, got you in the group too. So, good self-reflection, guys. Yeah, again, uh, that demonstrates good self-reflection. The issue I'd like to discuss with all of you is this, though. You are feeding women group number one. Right? So, how much can you say that women group number one are fully like, responsible for what's happened. You can't really, can you? Because at the end of the day, you're enabling their behaviour, just like women group number four is enabling their behaviour as well. The problem with this fear-based justification enabling the behaviour of, of unloving people is that the unloving people get worse. They don't get better. So this, this is about an issue of courage, personal courage. You follow me? It's something that you need to address and start seeing as a real issue. Personal courage to address issues is so important. Now, don't think that because I haven't listed out your name, there's a number of women who are in the boat where I haven't listed out your name, um, that you don't have the issues. It's just that I feel that you have some level of desire to address them or that you are new, right? And therefore, you're going to skip over the issue <laughs> through that little loophole that I've provided for you. <laughs> but God doesn't provide those loopholes, interestingly enough. But, it, but God does look at the a level of ignorance that a person has about an issue, not the chosen ignorance, which many of you ladies who have been associated with divine truth for many years have chosen to have, but rather the ignorance that is actually there because you've never heard it before. Do you follow? So some of you have gotten away with being listed because, just because you have an ignorance, you've never heard it before, that's all. That's the main reason. Now, hopefully, and what, what I'd like to say with our desire, we want to clear up these problems in the group, obviously, if you're removed, we recommend you, and you're staying here, you've got a great opportunity now for the next four days or five days to really sit down and reflect upon these issues privately. Rather than getting busy in the interactions and addictions of being here, 
you can now sit down and reflect about what's actually going on for you. Right? So I would suggest that's what you do. But you don't have to. You can get angry with me if you want. At the end of the day, I still love you. But I'm just not going to tolerate this kind of thing going on in the groups anymore, that's all. So I'm just drawing a line in the sand here, right? Now the line in the sand is going to keep getting a bit closer and closer and closer to where it should be, which is actually where God places it. Now God, as uh, for those of you who are getting removed, my suggestion is to, to still look at the, the outputs of these groups. The reason why is we're going to cover issues like self-responsibility, desire and governance that are actually key things that you are abusing with regard to these particular problems. Right? And you've got a lot to learn in there and so my suggestion is to spend this time alone to learn it. But I can't have you learning it in the group because having you learn it in the group it, all that's doing is causing all this other spirit interaction goes on that suppresses the group. Does that make sense to you? So we can't have that continuing. We want to get this problem corrected so that all of our audience is self-reflective. That's what we want to achieve. And, and what's really lovely is to see like uh, quite a number of you are self-reflective. Like There is a high proportion in this group that are self-reflective. But unfortunately, the ones that aren't are oppressing the ones that are and bringing along a whole heap of spirits to oppress the ones that are. So this is why we want to correct it. Does that make sense to you? So hopefully you've got the uh, idea that we are, you know, we're not doing this for uh, some punitive reason. We're trying to get you to be more self-reflective to see what's truly going on. Right? So that when we come to these groups, there's an atmosphere in this group that people are allowed to feel what they feel. They're allowed to be in development. You know, they're allowed to be people who are developing and changing. But they're not going to be sitting here taking up more space, just sitting on their issues for years and years and years and years. That's insincere. Right? And the reality is I don't want to give my time for free to people who are insincere. I don't even want to give my time getting paid for people who are insincere. <laughs> you know, you could pay me 10 grand an hour and I'm still not going to give my time to you being insincere, you see. So this is where it's something that you, you need to understand that people who truly love you, they're going to raise issues with you. If you're sincere, you'll want to look at them. You will. You'll want to address them. So, so address them. Like, don't, don't skip over them, don't try and manoeuvre around them, address them. Right? Now, many of you have started to address some issues, but there's other issues you're pretty stubborn on. Right? Stop being stubborn. It's just, just, you're just killing yourself, being stubborn. You don't need to be stubborn, you just need to look at the issues. Now, for, for a couple of the guys, for a couple, actually, could I just speak to Lewis just for a moment before we close? Lewis, you want to just grab a mic if you're comfortable with that? Yeah. yeah. Lewis, you are quite unique in the group in that the spirits that are with you are just oppressing you terribly. Yeah, I, I feel that. Yeah. yeah, you can feel that. And, and, and like I feel so much compassion for where you are because, uh, you know, it's a terrible place to be. Mm. There's, no, there's nothing that you have done wrong that has encouraged these spirits except the only thing that's happening is that you've got so low self-worth mm -hmm. that it enables them to attack you all the mm -hmm. time i've recently yeah found that yeah so so my suggestion i said I, it's a very hard thing that i'm still working through myself is mm -hmm. self-worth and my suggestion is try hard to address that issue mm -hmm. the other people who are oppressed by spirits in the audience and there's quite a lot that are oppressed as much or not mm -hmm. or if not more than you they have it attracted it through their own addictions oh, okay you have attracted it through your terrible. You, you've obviously in your childhood. There's been some things happened there mm. that have yeah, caused you. Yeah, I have no recognition life. of it. That's, that's what I've been trying to go back and find out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got no real memories from like six up to about eleven. Yeah. So it's trying to. And that's where the secret is. Yeah. That's where but, it started. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But parents um, recently, well, dad passed away recently. Yeah. Uh, trying to get the truth out of mum. Well, actually, what happened is just. 
Yeah, they'll lie to you. Yeah. yeah. So that's where I'm at. Kind so of. you're going to have to trust uh, a lot of your feelings in yeah. order to get um, the truth. Yeah. 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 So I just wanted to say that to you. Okay, thank we you. have a lot of compassion for you, man. It's thank like. You. Um, I feel far more compassion for your situation than I do for most others who are spirit oppressed here mm -hmm. because most others have invited the oppression mm. or invited the, you know, invited uh, the codependent addiction. Yeah. I yeah. think recently a lot of them have left me alone though. Like there's not as much oppression. Yep. Uh, but I do still feel that there's something there. I can't see them. Well, actually yeah. occasionally I do see them. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's hard. It's yeah, tricky. it is hard for you. Yeah. And a lot of times when you're really nervous, Mm. That you feel really Yesterday nervous. Oh, oh, it's it was horrible. Yeah, and that's their oppression. Mm. You know, they're they're quite strongly trying okay. to attack Thank you and hurt you. Thank you. And uh, and understand that we can see what's going on there and okay. have compassion for you there. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, man. Thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do is this again in our in our second session on the second day of our second session, and um, we address some further issues. There, we we have given some of you a bit of a reprieve i suppose you could call it we don't see it as that we just see it as no there's some um smidge of desire shall we call it a small portion of desire that we would like to try to to deal with those of you who have been removed we feel the big issue you need to work on is desire to address these issues and so when it comes to the uh, the uh, material coming out our suggestion is to focus on the issue of desire to actually address your problems because at the moment your desire and uh, remember i drew on the board the other day the two the two things about desire um, if i just uh, remind you remember i drew there was there was will and desire remember i drew that at the moment those have been removed your desire is actually worse than your current will In other words, you're on a downward trend of self-destruction. Right. Now, many of you are in the illusion that that's not happening. So that's an issue. And what I'm hoping to achieve through this as well is, is help you come to your senses a bit and actually say, well, hang on a sec. You know, this guy's talked about this issue with me for many, many years now. And I'm still basically ignoring it and still destroying myself with it. Um, when am I going to stop? When am I going to stop? And I, I feel, unfortunately for some of you, you're not going to stop this in the life you have on this earth. And, and, and that's going to be quite terrible for you, much more terrible than you realise at this point, because you, you'll join posses of women who just support that behaviour and... And off they go doing the same thing as well when you get the spirit world. And your life will hardly be any different to your life here, aside from the fact that you won't be able to enjoy some of the things you've been out of control here. So, yeah, my suggestion is come to your senses, girls. You need to address this issue. Yeah. Just one more question, Jennifer, and then I have to stop. I'm already quite severely over time, so. Um... I thought I was dealing with some of my anger and rage towards men. So you say I, this to me every time. What am I doing? What are you doing? Yeah. You're living in the addictions of it rather than... you. you it's, something's being taken away from you and you get anger and, uh, you, and you cry about that. And that's basically just crying about an addiction getting taken from you. Am I feeling like when I'm praying and feeling the emotions... Like in my you constantly tell me you're receiving God's love. Okay. I see you receiving the love and attention of a lot of very dark women spirits that you call God. So the emotions that I'm feeling when I'm praying are, are not real? Is well, is your prayer sincere? Well, certainly I thought so. You think so, yeah. This is part of the, the... All of the ladies in that first group have this self-delusion that they're sincere. Yeah. Yeah. Mary, you can say if you wish. <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> when we change, it's reflected in our actions, in our demeanour, in our attitudes towards others. So when there's a real change and when we receive God's love, it's, it's noticeable. 
And for a lot of you ladies who are being asked to leave, there's often a lot of talk about emotions or receiving God's love or prayer, but over many years there's absolutely no change. And given the same set of circumstances, there's the same angry response. So that, that besides being able to feel things, that is just an indication. It's anyone can see. It's logical deduction. And this is what Jesus is trying to... Uh, help you guys see is that you're not being self-reflective even in your own life you you're saying it's almost like compartmentalizing oh i'm having this lovely experience it means i'm growing i get to keep this illusion of growth and goodness but i didn't i'm not seeing that to in tomorrow or yesterday i did exactly the same thing as i did five years ago and there's no analysis of your own behavior in that um, or even your own emotions, even if you've changed your behaviour, the emotional, immediate emotional response remains the same. And what, what I see about many of your so-called nice experiences are just happening because the spirits around you are barging their way and hurting other people to create a nice experience for you so that you have the illusion that you're actually having some law of attraction change or something and you just then go, oh, my law of attraction is changing, so everything must be... But, but your body's not changing and your attitudes are not changing and the interactions with people take away these spirits are not changing. And often your interactions with me are different because, because when I'm there, those spirits can't have as much power and therefore have, have less like, positive, what you believe is positive influence on you. They, they, create, they can't create as many good things for you as, as when I'm not there. Right? And uh, unfortunately for you girls, that causes you to remain in the illusion. Right? So many of you have a large posse of spirits. Some of you almost completely overcloaked. It's, it's lovely for you, Kathy, to see that you changed your name for the group because, because the reality is for the last 10 years, you've just been overcloaked by, by a spirit who's just getting you go down this track. So that, that's wonderful for you to... Because using the name of your birth on earth is a great help for you to start actually feeling some of the emotions that you tried to avoid by having a different name. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's, that's fantastic. That's an indication that you have some desire to address the issue. But, uh, but for many of you, no desire at all to address the issue. You know, every time... Every time the man doesn't give you what you want, bang, you're in anger again. And the anger is written all over you. You know, all over your face and all over your, your demeanour. It's just written there. But, but because many of you have been associated with new age movements or whatever through your life, you then have this pretty facade on top of it, which makes it even worse. Most people don't recognise what's going on for you. But, but somebody who can see the spirits and feel what's going on with you obviously can see through all that. Uh, yeah. I kinda no. no more questions, no. Jennifer. Sorry. We need to move on. Thanks, baby. Yeah, I just wanted to remind those ladies who are leaving us. Some of you have hard disk drives at the back of the room, um, so don't. So I've copied them last them. night for you. Yeah. Um, so they're they're all copied and done. They're on the right hand side as you walk. Uh, sorry, the left hand side as you walk out. Um, yes. What we'll do after the, we'll just if you can give us ten minutes uh, change over. So we have to come back at twelve fifteen. We're quite obviously quite a large amount of time out of our program there. Um, but I felt it was necessary, unfortunately. But that means that uh, I, I'm not sure how we're going to handle that. I'll have to figure that out in the next 10 minutes, how we're going to address that issue. Because I still want to not get distracted from the material we want to, because it's such good material, right? So we want to, want to make sure that we can also cover this material. Um, so what we might do too is just, uh, we probably, for the support team, um, we might be able to remove the entire back row out and if everyone can come forward, uh, that would be great. It'll just make uh, filming a bit easier and so forth, make the whole room a bit more intimate perhaps too. And, uh, and then my suggestion is let's get, uh, like, your worries are over for the day, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> let's get stuck into the material and learn some things, eh, that we need to learn about God, God's love and God's truth. It's a great opportunity. It actually gives you a lot of tools to work through these issues that we've highlighted yeah. the rest of the programs. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.